Hi friends, welcome to the next video. I'm glad to see you here. Today I'm going to be reacting to some unpopular opinions this person posted on fandom. I'll put the link to the original post in the description if you want to read it. So let's get started. Number one, Celangelo is good but overrated. I agree with this one because Celangelo is cute and all, but it's pretty overrated for a ship that is that has not that much development and is kind of rushed into. Number two, Brayson is stupid. I think Brayson is actually a good joke, not as good as like the damn joke or the blue plastic hairbrush, but I don't think you'll find anyone who actually ships Brayson. It's mostly just like a joke ship. Three, the hairbrush joke is even stupider. Oh, hey, 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 hold up. The hairbrush joke is pretty funny because, well, I mean, she stabbed the titan in the eye with a blue plastic hairbrush. What's not funny about that? But I don't think anyone will actually think that it's, say, more powerful than Riptide. So, again, it's just a joke. Number four, Greek mythology is far better than PJO. Well, I think that Greek mythology is good and all, but it's really twisted and kind of messed up in a lot of cases. And Percy Jackson, however, it has the Greek mythology in it, but it also has the funny narration. So I think they're both good, but in pretty different ways. Number five, chaos is not an entity, guys. Actually, not an opinion. It's a fact, to be honest. In Greek mythology, chaos is not. I don't know why Rick seems to give us the assumption that it is. Well, I haven't read much Greek mythology. The closest thing I've read is, you know, Percy Jackson's Greek gods and Percy Jackson's Greek heroes. So I always thought that chaos was an entity, but good to know, I guess. Six, the Greek gods and heroes from mythology are far more interesting than modern fictional heroes. Well, like number four, I think that they must have had a lot more to do, and they're probably a lot more interesting to read about, because they did so much more, right? But the Percy Jackson heroes, we can sort of relate to them in some way, because they're also modern teenagers. So I think, again, they're pretty good, but in different ways. Number seven, Parachel isn't that bad, though Persebeth is better. Parachel really isn't that bad. Like, I don't get how Parachel is awful, but it's not bad. I don't ship it, but it's really not that bad. But I don't really ship Persebeth that much because of the, like, of the judo flip that Annabeth did. Like, why did she do that? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. So I don't really ship Persebeth. Number eight, Farsi, oh my god, sorry, Farsi. Percy is far too overpowered, and his plot armor is ridiculous. Yeah, that's probably, sorry, no, definitely true. He was able to waterbend poison in Tartarus, so yeah, I would say that's ridiculous. Number nine, by itself, the Lightning Thief movie is okay, though as an, ad oh, though as a, as an adaptation, it does suck. Yeah, that's true. I feel like if I've never read Percy Jackson, or if it didn't exist, and this was an original idea, I feel like the movies would be pretty, pretty loved. And they wouldn't be considered as, like, you know, Tartarus spawn. But as an adaptation, however, it's pretty bad, because it's supposed to reflect the material of the book, and it did a horrible job of that, so yes. Number 10, the don't walk on my roof line was bad, since it ruined the scene's suspense. I thought it was pretty funny, but I could be remembering wrong, because I haven't watched that movie in a long time. Number 11, Leo is bad. Well, Leo, I think he's pretty funny in some cases, but in other cases, I don't like some aspects of him. For example, he's always making fun of people and making jokes at, like, Frank's expense. And it's just I don't I don't like that. That's not that's that's pretty mean. As someone who is like a victim of being made fun of at school, that's it's not okay. 
especially since Frank, I think he had some sort of issues with like low self-esteem. And Leo can be like pretty funny sometimes, but that's not okay. Especially at the beginning when he was like, rainbows, very macho. I hate that quote. So Leo, he's okay in some cases, but some aspects of him really aren't that good. Number 12, most of the characters aren't compelling. Well, I think some of them like are pretty good. Say like, I liked Reyna a lot. Reyna is pretty nice. I liked Thalia. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Thalia and some others. Some others were pretty good, but most of them, like say Jason. Jason was pretty bland. Meg. Eh, Meg was okay. Some of the characters need like need to be better written, but most of them are pretty good. Thirteen. Heroes of Olympus was bad, the worst series by far. I don't say I don't think he was bad, but I certainly think it was not as good as the original series, Percy Jackson, or, you know, Trials of Apollo. So yeah. Fourteen. Percy Jackson and Trials of Apollo are the best series, though Magnus Chase is close. Yeah, I agree with this one. I don't really have anything to say about it, just I agree with everything about that statement. 15. Lester has a way better arc than everyone else. Oh yes, I agree with that one. After going from shallow and conceited and spoiled, I feel like he, after experiencing so much, especially his, you know, half-brother's death, I think... Lester had a pretty good arc. He was kind of annoying at first, but at the end, he was, you know, pretty great. Well, let's go then. 16. Gaia is evil in mythology, at least after Zeus became king. Again, I don't know that much about mythology. I haven't read that much, so I can't. I'm not qualified enough to say anything. 17. The Iliad is one of the best books ever. Again, I haven't read the Iliad or, you know, the Odyssey or anything. Number 18, that's like a repeat of number 15, so we'll ignore that. Number 19, Zeus is the most important god, despite the fact he's a jerk. That's true. He is pretty important. Otherwise, you know... The weather would be all thrown off, and I feel like there wouldn't be much order. Because although, like, I feel like, although I feel like Zeus is definitely not a good god, if he wasn't there on the throne, all the gods who are, like, used to having lots of power, I feel like they wouldn't be able to keep order. So yes, Zeus is pretty important. 20. The fields of punishment are unnecessary, since mythology already has Tartarus. I never really thought about that. I guess that's that's an that's an interesting point. So the fields of punishment, I think they're there to sort of suit the punishment to the crime. Because Tartarus is awful. Like what if someone did something bad but not Tartarus level bad? I think the fields of punishment is necessary. 21. L- Luke deserves zero forgiveness and should be hurled into Tartarus. Hands down, I agree. Luke killed so many people, got rid of so many lives, and he does not deserve any forgiveness. When he reaped his soul with the crushed blade, I think he just he just cleaned up his mess that he made. For example, you spilled orange juice. You cleaned up the orange juice. That does not mean you get a reward. That means you cleaned up the orange juice. Boom. 22. Octavian trying to destroy Camp Half-Blood is justifiable and he's overhated. Okay, I don't like Octavian, but I don't hate him like everyone else seems to. He just, yes, he destroyed, he tried to destroy Camp Half-Blood, but that's because those ghost things possessed Leo and made him fire on Camp Jupiter. 
and I can understand that these demigods who never showed their existence to us before, I wouldn't immediately trust them and I, would, I wouldn't really give them the benefit of the doubt. So I think it is justifiable, but he also did a lot of bad things like, you know, killing Gwen, manipulating lots of people. So he is overhated, but he definitely does not deserve to be liked. 23. Hera is very overhated. While Hera isn't great, none of the gods are truly great, but, oh, except Hestia. Hestia is awesome. But Hera is like, people are so awful to Hera, and I think he is kind of overhated. Not very overhated, but kind of. 24. Zeus is not a rival of Poseidon and Hades. He is far more powerful than all the other gods. That would make sense since people make sure to pray to him the most. In ancient Greece, I mean, not, not now. But I don't think he's a really a rival of Poseidon and Hades. Even though Poseidon and Hades are very powerful gods, Zeus is probably more powerful than, than them all. 25. Jason and Nico's stamina is ridiculously small compared to Percy's. That's true, but that's probably because plot armor. 26. Athena should not be able to fall in love. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. She swore to be a maiden goddess. And Eros is the god of love, right? So that means he shouldn't be able to shoot an arrow at her to make her fall in love. According to the old myths, that's the only way you can fall in love. So Athena should not be able to. This one's right. I never really thought about that before. 27. Magnus is literally Percy in personality, and there are a million other character par parallels that I don't feel like naming right now. So I think Magnus is actually pretty similar to Percy, except with a lot less plot armor. So yeah, that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I post new videos, and happy watching! Bye!